What's up guys, welcome to day five of keto. Um, keto life, can you say keto life after five days, Rafaela? No, because that's not even a week, so I guess I'm not part of that tribe yet. In today's video, I am gonna give you my day five update and then talk to you about this, these two products back here, and I'm gonna tell you which one of these kind of keto-friendly pre-workouts I would recommend to you and why. But for day five, let's see, let's wrap it up. I had two Bulletproof coffee yesterday, so it was a little bit like Christmas in my house because I really like Bulletproof coffee. I would say it's bordering on an obsession. It makes it kind of creamy, and so then you can see. So I had two of those. I had one at like eight in the morning and then another one around noon. So what I changed yesterday was I had my Bulletproof coffee and then I did my uh, gym, you know, my workout. And then I had like a, a high protein meal right after. And then I didn't eat again until like, well, I didn't eat anything until my second Bulletproof coffee, which was like at 1230 ish. And then I didn't eat, God, I want to say it was like four. And then again, at seven. And I'm not obsessive about the calories. I eat to hit my macros. And if my calories are a little bit higher or a little bit lower, so be it, don't care. I'm not training to be on the stage. I'm just training to train. I will tell you that after my seven o'clock meal, I wanna say it was like around 8.30, I was starving. Like, um, I was really hungry, like to the point where I could no longer control myself. And I know that a lot of times, again, I've been meal prepping and you know, eating lean and eating clean for a very long time. So for me, I know my triggers for like, hey, you're gonna fall off or whatever. So again, remember what I just said, I eat to hit my macros. So I was starving and I was like, okay, you're a little low on fat for the day, a little low on protein, not terribly, but basically, you know, you have like two net carbs left or two carbs left. So I grabbed two tablespoons of almond butter and the things that I did to that almond butter and the way, the sounds that I was making while I was consuming it, my children were literally like, mommy, what are you doing? They were confused. <laughs> like it was, I mean, it was an experience y'all. That's all I'm going to say. I enjoyed it. Every finger full. I mean, I, it was probably not PG 13. Let's leave it at that. Guys, it's not, keto is not supposed to be a prison, nor any other diet or any other way of eating. It's supposed to be something that helps you to manage your life. So you know, I mean, unless you're training for the stage, and obviously that's different because you have to have more discipline because you're gonna have to cut weight. I'm not. Um, and probably most of the people on this channel are not. Listen to your body, listen to your body. Eat to hit your macros, listen to your body. That's it, simple as that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this review and I hope you guys enjoy this. See you in a minute. Sorry about the lighting, it's very early in the morning, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be using for my pre-workout, which is this cream of tartar the sea salt, and then, oh, that's upside down, but the great value early orange rise sugar-free drink mix. And then before I realized I could do this, I purchased this, which is the, it's a keto-friendly pre-workout. All right, guys, this is the first morning that I am going to train in a very long time in a fasted state. And also I did not take any like pre-workout energy pills and I'm not gonna have a commercially packaged pre-workout drink. I'm just going to have that electrolyte drink and see if that is enough for me to train with. But I would be lying to you if I told you I was not nervous because I am. I am super nervous that my performance is going to take a major dip in the weight training department, but I guess it's all part of the experiment. So I'm going to go train now and I will let you know what happens. We're walking, walking. Y'all know what time it is. Let's do it. So First round of the experiment is done. I just finished my workout and Monday is just like a really intense day always. And I'm always completely just winded and exhausted when I am done at the gym. And um, you can see right here, there's my, my protein meal. And I'm gonna do a video about whether or not eating straight protein right after the gym or drinking a protein like meal replacement shake. Um, is better and if that affects like your recovery and all of that and i'll be posting that either later this week or early next week so definitely click subscribe if you want to see that but what i can say about my workout today was I, there are a lot of kind of like weird things that i noticed first my heart was beating really really fast and i think i may have put too much salt so i think this time i put a half a teaspoon of salt i think yeah, and then I think next time I'll put a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, but other than that, 
I would say that I would not have noticed, and to be fair, my heart beats really hard even when I take a pre-workout. So, I mean, and especially, and you know what else? I'm just thinking that now it might also be because I was working, sorry, in a fasted state, working out in a fasted state, which I don't normally do. Um, so it's hard to say, it could be a combination of those things. But in the energy department, between the Bulletproof coffee and that electrolyte drink before my workout, I had absolutely plenty of energy to get through the workout. Now, I didn't feel like, oh, I wanna go lift a huge truck, you know? But that's all naturally replacing me taking an energy pill like two hours before working out, drinking coffee in the morning and then drinking a pre-workout, which is what I've always done basically. So that's a lot to try to stand up again. So actually I'm very, very impressed today. Only thing that I noticed, and I definitely did notice this, was that my endurance felt a little lower. So on some of my sets, you know, I'll do 20, 15, 10, eight, and then the next set will be, you know, eight to 10 reps. And in the higher range, like the 20 to 15, I definitely felt the burn a lot more than I normally do. And I was lifting pretty much the same kind of weight. But in the strength department, I didn't really notice a dip. So, I mean, I know that people say that and maybe that will come later down the road. This is only, I guess this will be day five. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly going to switch to this as my regular. All right, guys, I'm here at the gym. As you can see, what? Uh, this is the BPI, what am I looking at? I'm here at the gym. This is the BPI pre-workout. I haven't shaken it yet, so it looks all janky, but I'll let you know what I think. Okay guys, I just had to share this with you because this is so funny. I'm at my gym and look what it says. It says that awkward moment when you are wearing Nikes and you just can't do it. It's too funny. Okay guys, I just finished at the gym. I'm worn out. Um, and you're probably like, wait, doesn't she have blue eyes? And now she has brown eyes. But no, I have brown eyes and those are blue contacts. And somebody commented the other day, like, oh, your eyes are stunning. And even though that was such a sweet comment, it made me realize that I, I like don't ever film anymore with my all natural brown eyes. And I love both. So I wanna be able to film with both because I actually don't really have my blue ones in that often unless I'm filming or maybe taking pictures or something like that. So if you see me kind of flip flopping, that's what's going on. I don't have color changing eyes or, I'm not that cool. I just have blue contacts. They're Solaticas, by the way, amazing. Love them. But back to the review, BPI. So let me show you kind of like what happened when I opened the package. Well, today I'm gonna try this BPI pre-workout that's supposed to be keto friendly. Filming one handed, so. Ooh, aggressive. I just want to see what it looks like. That's weird. It almost looks like protein powder. When you're digging around for the scoop, the struggle is real. BPI, why would you do me like this? Did you not put a scoop in here? You are dead to me. I'm like Jack Sparrow, but look what I just found. Pirate's treasure, or as I like to call it, booty. Found the scoop. It was literally at the very, very bottom of the container. I don't know what's up with that, but it's here. Don't you disappoint me, BPI. All right. After I finished playing Pirates of the Caribbean and dug that thing out and found some, you know, some pirate's booty so I could like actually get a scoop of that stuff, I put it in here, came to the gym. As you can see, the blender bottle, didn't really, you know. The blender bottle didn't really, and by the way, all my women viewers, am I the only one that shakes their bottle? Let me make sure this thing is closed first, hold on. Who is it? I'm sorry, because that was so loud. I'm probably really irritated, but I'm always really paranoid about shaking my bottle like this and not, God, that was loud and annoying. But it kind of looks like I'm giving my blender bottle a, um, if I'm not careful about the way I shake it. Am I the only girl that thinks about this kind of stuff? God, I hope not. Actually, I kind of hope so, because it's crazy. But anyway, I first, like, when I first took a sip of it, I was warming up on the treadmill. And if y'all could have seen my face. No. I did not love it. Um, okay, and I should start by saying, I don't really like sweet stuff. Like I'm that girl that doesn't order dessert ever. I don't crave cookies or sugar, anything like that. I That's just not my jam. But it's just like a very um, like artificially sweet taste. It was like a punch in the mouth actually. But if you're used to drinking drinks that have artificial sweeteners, 
it's not a bad taste. That was what I realized. I was just like, oh, that artificial sweetener thing. That was not my jam. Um, I am definitely probably going to lean the other way for the other one that I did in my vlog yesterday. Just on taste. With respect to performance, I had a lot of energy, but I had a lot of energy yesterday too. And the sweeteners in here, and I'm in no way slamming this product because if you need a pre-workout, there I, I don't know of any others that are keto and pre-workout. So if you do, leave them in the comments below for other people so that if they try this BPI stuff and they don't, you know, they don't fancy it, that they can try whatever. I felt like it made my my stomach feel a little unsettled. That's just me. It's a new pre-workout to me. So, you know, guys, take all of that with a grain of salt. But I, I'm personally, I'm not a huge fan. I'll probably keep it around for like those mornings when I just need a little extra hitch in my giddy up, but I, I'm not a huge fan. Again, if you don't mind artificial sweeteners, Yes, it totally gave me like that pre-workout boost that people are looking for and I wasn't jittery. It's just, I think all the sweeteners just didn't sit well with me. It almost made my tummy feel like a little bit bloated. That's it, that's kind of how I feel about it. But I definitely had, you know, a good amount of like endurance and strength and all of that. So, I mean, you know, with respect to a pre-workout, did it do what it's supposed to do? Yeah, totally, 100%. All right guys, so what's the wrap up? If I had to choose one or the other, what would I choose? If it's just about taste, it's definitely gonna be the DIY mixture. It's gonna be, you know, cream of tartar, um, sea salt, and then any kind of like sugar-free powdered drink mix. I used that orange rise one from Walmart, the great value one. It tasted good, it didn't upset my stomach, I had tons of energy, I didn't feel shaky, I didn't feel bloated, it didn't have like a weird like artificial taste. For me, that's the winner all the way around. Like five cents to make, yes please. You can get the ingredients anywhere. You can pre-mix, you know, just take out your blender bottles and just go through it and mix it up. So for me, that's what I'm gonna be using going forward. The BPI, I will say there was a little bit more in the way of endurance. Now, that also could have had to do with the fact that today's workout was just wasn't as intense as yesterday's workout. But I don't, I don't really think it's what it was. I think there's something in the BPI that deals with endurance. So if you're somebody who do who does like really high volume sets, 10, 20, you know, 15, 20 reps, and there's a, a substantial amount of weight, you might want to try the BPI. I'm going to, I'm going to try my formula that I made, the sea salt and cream of tartar and the um, sugar-free mixture, but I'm going to add a little bit of caffeine to it. And the easiest way to do that, guys, is to just like, well, you could pour coffee into it, but that is not going to taste good. I just buy like caffeine pills and then I just throw them in the like blend tech and boom, instant caffeine. And then I use like an eighth of a teaspoon. You want to be careful with that so you don't blow your heart up. Um, but I'm going to try that. Anyway, for me, that's definitely the way that I would go. In no way am I slamming BPI. I think it could be a great product for certain people. It wasn't for me. I, you know, once this bottle's gone, it's not going to be a repurchase for me. So I hope that helps you guys. I know that when you're switching to keto and obviously you want to keep working out, pre-workout is extremely important. It definitely is for me. So I'm sure it is for pretty much anybody watching this. And so those are two very viable options. Again, if you don't mind that artificial sweetener taste, the BPI thing is probably right up your alley. If you're more of an all natural girl like myself, you're going to want to go ahead and make your own stuff. That's it. Um, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, you know, letting, getting to know, like kind of going through learning about keto and adapting this lifestyle, like in my video at the end of this week, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, I'm going to do one day where I use just like standard um, keto friendly protein powder. And then another day where I work out and I just eat real food, like high protein, you know, low carb, whatever, or moderate carbs right after and kind of let you know how I feel. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for your body, I feel like you should be able to get it to a place where you can use natural stuff and stay on some kind of a cycle. At least that is what I am hoping. But I will be your guinea pig, so if you wanna see me go through this torture so you don't have to do it, um, you're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. But go ahead and click that like button and consider subscribing and maybe turn on the little bell notification so you receive a little text alert or whatever it is when I post new videos. And I hope your keto journey and research is going well and I will see you guys tomorrow.